So quickly, I just want to touch on some of the, I guess, customizations you could put to this thing. And you could do it in basically two places. One is in well your own CSS as well as the CSS that the plugin provided, and that would be right now. This is over here to the right when we wanted it floated uh, floated to the left, and we actually wanted it to the right. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen once we populate the photos area because there's going to be some photos in here. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to just kind of go over to the right. But I think I think the first thing I'm going to do, just in, in hindsight, it almost seems like a better thing to float this guy to the right as opposed to the left. Um, so I'm going to do just that. So where's my, my weather? So for, uh, currently it's floating left. Um, I'm just going to float it right. I mean, there's really nothing. I, I don't have anything invested right now in it floating to the left. So that's cool. This blue background, I just don't like it. It's not, it's not working for me. So, well, let me see what's actually causing that blue background to happen. Uh, using my web developer plugin over here, I'm just going to go view style information. And when I hover over the whole thing, I make sure I have a, a red, uh, red box around the whole thing. When I click on it, I see all the, all the different rules that are actually affecting this thing. If I go down the, the line over here, oh, look at this. I see this is the only thing that actually is defining anything. It says odd and uh, background color, and it's defining a background color. And that's in that jQuery.zweatherfeed.css file. So uh, let me, let's see, jQuery, I'm trying to just look for it. Here we go, CSS, and that, oh, look, right down here. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to delete it, but how about if I just comment it right out? Okay. Oh, well, now it's green. I don't don't really want it to be green, but, you know, the reason why it's green is because that's what we have defined for weather in our own style sheet. So what happens if I just take out the background color? Is it going to go? Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, that's that's what I what I wanted to do. I wanted to go white over there, and eventually I'm going to populate these with thumbnail pictures, and I'm going to keep that background white too. Uh, actually, so far this this looks great. You know, it's got a little cushion over here which I like, and um, that's just some basic uh, CSSing over there, moving it around, and you could even you know obviously you could change all this text to whatever color you like for right now for me it's fine I'm, I'm doing small changes not the big ones um, another thing to note is that if you go back to where you got the plugin from from this uh, Z weather feed you could see that there's actually some uh, they say some plugin options over here and they're not very descriptive on how to use it but it's um, it's actually pretty straightforward I mean right now I believe this says negative five, and I believe that's in Celsius. And uh, obviously, we're in America, so we could go, you know, maybe uh, using Fahrenheit would be a little more appropriate. And it tells you what you could change, but it doesn't really tell you where to change them. But all of these different parameters you see listed over here unit, image, high, low, wind, link, and show error these things, if you just kind of copy that parameter name and you go to to the um, to the plugin file, the actual JavaScript file, you could what you could do is I just go do a search and then I put unit in and boom, uh, you'll see you'll see unit and actually all the rest of the options that are available to you as well. I mean, check this out. So all those parameters that that he was referring to, unit C, what could we have done? We could turn it to F, right, for Fahrenheit. Uh, right in here. So let's see what happens when we do that. Uh, we'll go, um, let me preview this page. Uh, oh, so before, I guess here's the before when it was still negative 5 in Celsius, and here's the after when we changed it to Fahrenheit. Um, some other options, again, if we refer to uh, the plugin documentation, we see all these other ones, allows you to pull stuff out. Uh, you know, I actually like all of these. 
with the exception of this link the read full forecast um, I don't know I mean I guess it's cool but I just figure you know maybe I'll just keep people on my page and and if you look uh, right there the link parameter is what you could set by default it's set to true um, well let me show you what happens when we set it to false so where are we looking image we want the image the high lows went the link okay here it is but now I gotta go to the other side okay no syntax error so that looks good now let's see I'm gonna refresh this one so this is now gonna disappear cool look at that so there's um after you you've you've pulled this thing for yourself you could see that there's uh, although there's not a whole lot of uh, customization you could do there is some and um, you know if you could you could figure out how you want to tweak this specifically for your own implementation